Jason Isaacs has weighed in on the drama concerning J.K. Rowling, who received a heap of backlash for criticizing an opinionated essay in 2020. The written piece had used the term people who menstruate as opposed to women to include transgender men in the conversation. Reacting to this, JK had tweeted at the time, people who menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumpen? Wimpen? Wumud? And while the author later clarified her words, saying that she respects every trans person's rights to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them, it appeared the damage had already been done. A string of Harry Potter stars from Emma Watson to Daniel Radcliffe have spoken out about Jack A's comments, and Jason is the latest actor from the Wizarding franchise to share his thoughts on the situation. The 58-year-old, who played Draco Malfoy's father Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter films, told The Telegraph in a new interview that while he didn't agree with JK, he was not going to stab her in the back over their differences. So for all that she has said some very controversial things, he said. I was not going to be jumping to stab her in the front, or back without a conversation with her, which I've not managed to have yet. She has her opinions, I have mine. They differ in many different areas. Jason went on to shed light on the wonderful philanthropic work the Yate native has done since her rise to fame. The latter is said to have invested a hefty amount from her £820 million fortune to back a string of charities helping vulnerable children in need with her charity Lumos. But one of the things that people should know about her too, not as a counter-argument, is that she has poured an enormous amount of her fortune into making the world a much better place, Jason added. For hundreds of thousands of vulnerable children, through her charity Lumos. And that is unequivocally good. At the height of her controversy over the summer of 2020, JK issued a statement, which said, at the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. Just last month, it was suggested that Jack A's comments about the trans community were to blame for her absence in HBO's Harry Potter Return to Hogwarts special which aired on New Year's Day. As the cast and crew celebrated the 20th anniversary of the first blockbuster flick, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, JK was noticeably absent from the festive occasion. Instead, the mother of three was sparingly featured in archival footage she had previously taped in 2019 while Emma, Daniel and Rupert Grint took a trip down memory lane with other former co-stars to relive their 10-year stint at playing their iconic characters. It was later claimed that Jack A was the one who opted not to engage in a live appearance and that her comments concerning transgender individuals had nothing to do with her decision not to be part of the reunion. Despite fan theories that the Ichabod writer had been axed from the special of a franchise she created, a small portion of Return to Hogwarts saw a handful of cast members speak highly of her. So many people were falling in love with J.K. Rowling's writing, said Bonnie Wright. Daniel added, I think it's very easy to forget that at the time, people were talking about the death of reading, 